بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ام ڈاکٹر محمد زمان اشرف آئی ویلکم یو آل ان بیسک آرگینک کیمسٹری ٹوڈے آور ٹاپک از اورینٹیشن ان ہیلو ہائیڈن فارمیشن ان مائی پریویس لیکچر آئی ہیو ڈسکسڈ ان ڈیٹیل دا جنرل ریئیکشن اینڈ میکنزم آف ہیلو ہائیڈن فارمیشن ٹوڈے آئی وی ڈسکس دا میکنزم آف orientation in halohydrin formation. So when we have unsymmetrical alkenes and these unsymmetrical alkenes when they undergo this halohydrin formation reaction then they follow the extended Markovnikov rule for this addition reaction. So let's start with the general reaction of halohydrin formation. So we have propene, this is an example of unsymmetrical alkene. When it reacts with halogen, for example bromine, in the presence of water, then it will give us vaccinal halohydrin. So here it is important to note the position of the attachment of this bromine. and OH at these, uh, these two carbon because these two carbons they are not equivalent. So when they are not equivalent then uh, if bromine attached at this terminal carbon and hydroxyl at central carbon this is a different compound as, compa as, as compared to when bromine it attached at the central carbon and hydroxyl at the terminal carbon. So it is important to mention the position of this bromine and OH at carbon-carbon double bond. So this addition in this case it actually follows the extended Markovnikov rule. I have discussed the detailed mechanism of the addition at carbon-carbon double bond. Uh, in case when uh, our reagents, they are unsymmetrical and alkenes, they are unsymmetrical and they follow the Markovnikov rule. So let's discuss the mechanism of this reaction. And when we observe the structure of the intermediate form in this reaction, then we can easily predict the position of the attachment of bromine and OH and we also explain the reason why this bromine it attacks at the terminal carbon which is less substituted carbon and hydroxyl at the central carbon which is more substituted carbon. So mechanism of this reaction first step is the attack of this uh, bromine at carbon carbon double bond and we know that these carbon-carbon double bond, it possesses pi electrons and pi electrons attacks at the bromine. So it means the first bromine which uh, attached or adds at carbon-carbon double bond, it adds as an electrophile. Suppose we have CH3, CH, double bond CH2 plus bromine. So pi electrons attacks at this bromine and we have the intermediate bromonium ion. So this bromine it may attach at this terminal carbon or this central carbon. So in these two cases we have two different types of intermediates. So when bromine it attached at this less substituted carbon then positive charge it appeared at this central carbon. So it is an example of secondary carbocation. On the other hand when this bromine it attached at this uh, carbon then it will give us primary carbocation. And we know that primary carbocation and secondary carbocation they have different stability and we know that secondary carbocation they are more stable as compared to primary carbocation this is because of the presence of electron donating methyl group. So uh, suppose we have the structure of this uh, intermediate CH3 Br this is positive. So this carbon it is less substituted. this carbon it is more more substituted. So it means suppose if this bromine it attached with this less substituted carbon then we have more stable intermediate as compared to when this bromine attached at this more substituted carbon it will give us less 
stable intermediate carbocation ion so it means the reason for the attachment of this bromine at less substituted carbon is actually the stability of the intermediate because when this bromine it attached at this less substituted carbon it will gives us secondary carbocation which is more stable as compared to the other case uh, primary carbocation second step of this reaction attack of water at this uh, intermediate bromonium ion we know that when this bromine it attached at this carbon carbon double bond as an electrophile and here we have br negative this br negative is a nucleophile so in case of halogenation of alkenes uh, where i have discussed the mechanism of uh, bromination or chlorination then uh, this second bromine it attacks at this bromonium ion uh, because uh, one of the carbon is negatively charged and this uh, one of the carbon is positively charged and this br as uh, a nucleophile attached at this uh, carbon so in this case when reaction is carried out in the presence of uh, water then this uh, br its nucleophilicity or nucleophilic character is decreased because of the hydration uh, due to the presence of water suppose here we have br negative then uh, water this is the structure of water this carbon partially positively charged and uh, hydrogen partially positively charged and oxygen partially negatively charged and it actually so because of this type of uh, uh, capturing of this br negative because of the presence of water nucleophilic character of this bromine it is decreased and in uh, halohydrin rea uh, formation reaction the second step of mechanism of this reaction is attack of water because in this case the hydroxyl of water it can act as a nucleophile ch3 ch ch2 and here we have bromine is positively charged so water hydroxyl functional group being nucleophilic in nature it can attack at this carbon or this carbon we know that when this hydroxyl being nucleophilic attacks at this uh, central carbon uh, it will gives us more stable transition state because this carbon it is uh, uh, when it is positively charged this is an example of secondary carbocation and we know that it is more stable so hydroxyl when it attacks at this carbon it will gives us more stable transition state as compared to when this hydroxyl it attacks at this terminal carbon it will gives us less stable transition state so this uh, lone pair attacks at this central carbon and these electrons goes to the br so here we have ch3 ch ch2 br and here we have water so one of the hydrogen from this uh, oxonium ion it is abstracted in the presence of water this hydrogen is abstracted by water and it will gives us the final product vaccinal halohydrin so this is bromohydrin and this bromohydrin vaccinal bromohydrin the the attachment of bromine and hydroxyl it actually follows the extended markovnikov rule and this is because of the stability of the intermediate uh, so uh, uh, for example this bromine when it attached at less substituted carbon then it will gives us more stable uh, intermediate which is secondary carbocation in this case the same reaction it can be explained uh, by some other example in which the alkenes they are unsymmetrical so it means the important uh, thing in this reaction are in orientation in halohydrin formation uh, this is the uh, structure of uh, structure, uh, structure of your alkene if your alkene is unsymmetrical then this reaction or this orientation it follows the extended markovnikov rule and in this case the bromine or the halogen it attached at less substituted carbon uh, due to the stability of the intermediate another example is suppose we have ch3 c ch3 ch2 
again this is an example of unsymmetrical alkene because these two carbon which is which contain carbon carbon double bond these two carbons they are not equivalent so in this case suppose it reacts with chlorine so first example uh, i have selected this uh, bromine so we have uh, bromohydrin and this in this case uh, we will get the chlorohydrin so these electrons attack at chlorine suppose this uh, structure of this chlorine so one of the chlorine it uh, attached at positive uh, i mean uh, as an electrophile and the other chlorine it removes as negative discharge cl this is the intermediate again here you have carbon carbon single bond because after addition one chlorine this carbon carbon double bond is converted into single bond again the question is the attachment of this chlorine either with this less substituted carbon or more substituted carbon if this chlorine it attached at this less substituted carbon then we have positive charge at this central carbon and this positive charge carbocation it is an example of tertiary carbocation and we know that tertiary carbocation they are more stable on the other hand if this chlorine is attached at this carbon and here the, which is more substituted positive charge it appears at this terminal carbon and when positive charge is present at this terminal carbon this is an example of primary carbocation so tertiary carbocation they are more stable the second step is the attack of hydroxyl nucleophilic group in water at this carbon because this carbon it is a uh, more stable uh, carbocation and it is formed in excess that's why incoming nucleophile attacks at this carbon and we have ch3 c ch3 and ch2 cl and oh here so again uh, one of the hydrogen from this intermediate it is abstracted by water and in this case we will get our final product chlorohydrate so this is another another example of halohydrin formation and in this reaction uh, we can easily explain the orientation uh, in halohydrin formation because we have two different types of carbon in this case we have ch and ch2 and in, in this case we have carbon and ch2 so these two carbons uh, these are uh, non equivalent and these uh, these alkenes they are unsymmetrical and when they undergo halohydrin formation reaction then they follow the extended markovnikov rule so this is all about the orientation in halohydrin formation and we explain and give reason why the uh, incoming halogen attacks uh, it attacks at the less substituted carbon and hydroxyl from water it attacks at the more substituted carbon the reason is the stability of the intermediate so uh, in my upcoming lecture i will discuss the stereochemistry of halohydrin formation reaction thank you very much